Schwere Sturmgeschütze zerschlagen einen sowjetischen Angriff. The Pak-40 was one of the prominent anti-tank guns used by Germany during World War II. Its firepower was known and feared widely by Allied soldiers who came up against it. Indeed, it was responsible for taking out many Allied tanks, trucks and other weaponry. In this video, we will explore the features, history and significance of this formidable weapon to better understand the advancements made in anti-tank weaponry during the Second World War. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. The 75mm Pak-40 was a German anti-tank gun used during World War II. It was designed to counter the increasing threat posed by Allied tanks and was known for its accuracy, firepower and versatility. With its larger calibre, longer range and higher penetration capabilities, the Pak-40 was a significant improvement over its predecessors, the Pak-36 and Pak-38. The Pak-36 was a general purpose anti-tank gun used by the German army. It had a calibre of 37mm and weighed approximately 425 kilograms or 940 pounds. The Pak-36 had a length of just over 4 metres or 13 feet and a width of 1.5 metres or 5 feet. It was operated by a crew of five and had a maximum effective range of around 500 metres or 550 yards. The 36 was used extensively by the Germans throughout World War II in most theatres, but its effectiveness was limited against heavily armoured tanks, such as the Soviet T-34 and KVs. This was mainly due to its relatively low armour penetration capabilities of only around 40mm. The Pak-38 sought to breach this gap and was a significant improvement over the 36. It had a larger calibre of 50mm and better penetrating capabilities, making it more effective against enemy tanks. Weighing around 1300 kilograms or nearly 3000 pounds, its length was much the same as the 36, though slightly longer. Again, it was operated by a crew of five. The 38 was known for its accuracy at long ranges and its ability to penetrate armor of up to 76 millimeters. However, even with these advancements, it still faced challenges against heavily armoured tanks, which led to the development of the Pak-40. The Pak-40 introduced in 1941 was a significant upgrade over the other anti-tank guns. It had a larger calibre of 75mm, longer range of up to 1.5km or 1 mile, and higher armour penetrating power up to 132mm. The 40 weighed around 1400 kilograms or over 3000 pounds, and its length grew to 6.5 meters or 22 feet. It featured a split tail carriage that provided stability and mobility, allowing it to be easily maneuvered on the battlefield. Typically, a crew of five to six personnel operated it, with a gun commander, gunner, loader, and two to three ammo carriers. The gun was also equipped with a semi-automatic breech mechanism, which enabled a faster rate of fire. The Pak-40 played a crucial role in various theatres of war. It was used extensively on the Eastern Front against Soviet tanks, where it proved to be highly effective in countering the Soviet T-34s. It was also used in North Africa, Italy and Western Europe, showcasing its versatility and adaptability in different terrains and combat situations. It was often positioned in concealed and well-fortified positions, taking advantage of its long-range accuracy and high penetrating power. Because it wasn't a heavily armoured weapon, the crew could be fairly exposed to enemy fire, so choosing an appropriate location to fire from was key to the safety of its crew. It was often used in ambush situations, where its ability to penetrate the frontal armour of enemy tanks made it a very dangerous weapon. 
Additionally, it was employed in defensive positions to protect key locations and repel enemy advances. Its mobility allowed the Germans to effectively utilise it in different combat scenarios, making it a crucial asset in their anti-tank defences. Most of the time it would be towed by truck, half-track or horses. It was also employed by Finnish and Italian forces, who in their own theatres used them to devastating effect. Furthermore, the Pac-40 had a lasting impact on post-war military developments. Many countries, including the United States and the Soviet Union, used captured Pac-40s as a basis for their own anti-tank gun designs. This demonstrates the Pac-40s continued influence even after the war, as its technological advancements and combat effectiveness shaped the future of anti-tank weaponry. The 75mm Pac-40 was not only a powerful anti-tank gun that played a significant role in World War II, but it also had a lasting historical significance. Its impact was felt not only in terms of its combat effectiveness on the battlefield, but also in shaping the development of anti-tank guns. Today, it is remembered as a pivotal weapon that contributed to the outcome of World War II and left an indelible mark on military history. Perhaps the Pac-40 was the best gun of the war. What do you think about the German Pac-40 of World War II? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.